So today I'm back with a skincare and hair care routine. This is for winter so there's like lots of moisturising products and everything that's to keep my skin feeling glowing and beautiful all the way through the cold, dry, horrible months of the year. Well actually I kind of like winter but I mean my skin doesn't so. <laughs> Okay, so I've got three kind of sections for this. We've got hair care and then we've got morning skincare and night skincare. So I'm going to start with hair care and then we'll move on to skincare afterwards. Okay, so besides shampoo and conditioner, which obviously everyone uses shampoo and conditioner, well, I'd hope everyone does anyway, uh, there's three products I use. So the first is a hair mask. I've been using this hair mask for like years. You've heard me talk about it on my channel so many different times. It is the Avon Grapefruit and Passion Fruit Treatment Mask. This thing is a lifesaver and I got so many little pots of it for Christmas and it also smells so nice. It fully smells like like yogurt, like yogurt that you eat on a holiday. That is a really weird description, but that is what it tastes like. Tastes like no, no, you don't eat this. <laughs> it's what it smells like, and it's so nice. Makes my hair so soft, like right now, literally just, oh, it's beautiful. So that's what I use in the shower. Once I get out of the shower, obviously my hair's all wet. I'm going to put some products in it to stop it just going to an absolute frizz ball and also just to stop it being really like dry and dead because my hair used to be absolutely awful. Honestly, it was shocking. So I started using these products and honestly they helped so, so much. First thing I do when I've got kind of damp hair, I'll let it dry, air dry for a little, little bit before I add any of these products in. The first one I add is System Professional Keratin Boost Lux Oil. It looks like this. And I just do like a couple of squirts into my hands, roll my fingers together and then do this through my hair. I think you can add this when it's wet or dry, but it improves resistance and strength against breakage, which is very good if you're having like dead hair, because I had really dead hair. And this kind of really boosted up. It also made it so, so soft and really like shiny. It never used to be shiny and now it's looks alive <laughs> and honestly guys whenever you guys comment stuff like oh hair gold or your hair looks so nice on like instagram posts or youtube stuff or blog stuff honestly it means the world because my hair used to look so awful that no one ever really said that to me and i had my friends always had such lovely lovely hair that used to be so soft and i'd just be like i just want hair like that my hair's so brittle and broken and horrible i just I was just like i want to be one of those girls with nice hair and now everyone comments saying like oh you have lovely hair and i'm like oh, thanks <laughs> thank you so much so back to this it smells so so nice like oh, and then your hair smells wonderful it literally smells like perfume it's great. The second thing I use in my hair after the shower is also from Avon, just like the mask was, and it is Frizz Control Hair Serum. Right, so I don't have like really mad, mad frizzy hair, but I get quite a lot of like static. Uh, I feel like it's de definitely decreased, definitely, because it used to be very big and not a good look. This really, really helped. So I put like one or two pumps of it in my hands again and just kind of bring it through. Obviously like the bottom two thirds of my hair, don't put it in your roots because then you're gonna get all greasy roots and that's not a good look. So this also smells really nice, but it also makes your hair really silky smooth, which is what we like. Okay, so my morning skincare routine is nowhere near as extreme or long-winded as my night skincare routine. So it's only got like four or five steps, which is obviously fabulous. Quick in the morning, just ah, done. Which is it's what I like to see because I don't like to be doodling around, spend loads of time doing stuff in the morning. Like I want more time in bed. <laughs> so I'll be up in the shower. I usually use Soap and Glory Clean on me to clean my body, but for my face, ta-da! The Garnier Skin Active. Pure active, everything active, wow. Um, daily deep pore wash, daily deep pore wash, blemishes and shine. So this is for like oily skin prone to imperfections, which I've actually got kind of like combination skin because I have dry skin here and around my nose and kind of sometimes a little bit down here, but this has helped. It's got little bits in it, 
so it exfoliates and it really has helped clear my skin so it might be drying these bits out a little bit more I I don't really know because it's designed for oily skin but I can add moisture back into there with moisturisers and face masks and all sorts so this is working for me at the minute so I'm going to stick with it and I've been using this for probably about six seven months now and it's really really helped it's cleared my skin up a lot uh, this whole range, the Garnier Skin Active one, is so, so good. I actually use a moisturiser from the same range. So this is the, well, it's called a botanical day cream, but it's basically a moisturiser. I think it's, it's the same like size and packaging as all their little moisturisers they do. So this one is the rose water one, which means it smells divine. Oh, it smells so good. Roses just smell lovely. So I put this on once I come out of the shower just to put some moisture back into my face and obviously it smells so nice it's a great way to start off the day for primers I either use the Barry M colour correcting one the one the little green one in the tube or I use the ordinary one so this is for if I want more heavy makeup because this literally like sticks it, I don't know how to describe it it's a si silicon primer but it, it so it's a little bit more kind of sticky and it, it really holds your makeup in place. This is the one if you're doing like a really glam makeup look or something like that, this one's going to hold it there. Nothing's budging with this baby. <laughs> On my lips, I either use Nivea Soft Rosé, which is a little pink tube which I've been using since I was like six years old. Or if I need something really intense hydration, I'll put chapstick on, you know, classic chapstick coming to save the day. And this is the strawberry one, of course because it's the best one. I also put this on before I go to sleep so I wake up with nice moisturised lips. I'm very lucky I don't usually get really really badly chapped lips though recently they haven't been the best but on a whole I have quite good lips. Tutwood. <laughs> Nighttime skincare routine I start off with a micellar water one of the Garnier ones I kind of switch in between all the different ones at the minute I'm using the one for oily skin I'm fairly certain that's up my bathroom I forgot to get that but you know micellar water we all know what that's like and then face wash or cleansing I use two things and I switch up a little bit I've been using this Kiko one since about this time last year this also smells really good Everything smells good in my skincare routine. <laughs> um, this is a foaming face wash, and this honestly, like, I was having such bad skin this time last year, and this is just like, whoosh, took it away, and it really cleared it up. So, I definitely recommend this if you're dealing with any kind of blemishes or spots. This whole um, selection from Kiko is really, really good. So this is for normal to combination skin, which is exactly what I've got. If I don't use that, I will use this Bot Botanics, I can never pronounce that word, Botanics um, Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm with one of these. This is obviously better for the environment than using micellar water and then a face wash because you're not using the cotton wool, you just reusing these. I started using this in October but just before Christmas my skin started breaking out more and more every time I used it and I couldn't work out if it was this that was causing it or if it was something else. So I've stopped using it for a little bit and my skin has cleared up a bit but I might reintroduce it back in just to test it out because obviously I really do care for the environment and with everything going on at the minute with all this eco movement I really do want to try and help save the planet a little bit more and just a little bit like not using cotton wool for a few days a week does help. It helps a lot more than you realise. So I'm going to try this out again and hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't break me out. For toner, as we can tell from the bottle, <laughs> my favourite go-to toner. Again, Garnier Skin Active. This range is good, I did tell you. Um, the Soothing Botanical Toner, again, with rose water. So it smells divine, again, and it's pink, which obviously just makes it better. Because it's pink. It's the best colour out there, guys. If you don't agree with me, just stop denying it to yourself. Pink's the best. <laughs> For like, skincare, skincare? I don't know how else to describe this. Like, for the actual, like, is it acid? I don't know. Like serums, serums and stuff that you put on your face. I use the Revolution ones. So, the one I go to if I like need a quick fix, I need to wake up tomorrow with good skin. Like, I've got an event or somewhere to go and I've got loads of like texture or bumps. This is my saviour. The quinoa, quinoa night peel. Like this, this is good. Bit of this on your face and it's sorted. 
This one is more like long term, like put this on for a few days and you'll notice a difference. It is the niacinamide and zinc, which helps with blemishes and oversized pores. So that one's good if you like, you've got like, oh, in a week's time you do want really clear skin. So this is like a clear fit clear quick fix and this is more of a solution that you just keep applying and eventually it will get rid of your spots for good. So that sums up all of my hair care and skincare routine. Obviously as a blogger I'm always trying out new things and new things get added into my um, skincare routine particularly quite a lot of the time. So if you want to see an update for this a little bit later on in the year please give this video a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below. Also if you do have any other video requests make sure you comment them down below and I'll try and make them a reality. <laughs> I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for loads more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Quite hit the high note. <laughs> this is one if you do not.